The all-time leader in games played as a member of the Colorado Avalanche, Milan Hayduke had his jersey number retired last night, joining the likes of Sackett, Forsberg, Foot, Bork, and Wall with a banner in the Pepsi Center rafters. Hayduke played his entire 14-year career with the Avs, and he's second in career goals since the franchise moved to Colorado. Hayduke says growing up, he didn't dream about playing in the NHL because as a kid, he lived in communist Czechoslovakia and knew very little of the outside world. But once Milan arrived in Colorado in 1998, he would make the most of his opportunity. I grew up in the Czech Republic and then uh, and started playing there and uh, never thought uh, I'll have this kind of career. Iron Wall went down, Iron Curtain went down and uh, uh, you know the you know, the borders open up and then all of a sudden you could you could see some other stuff and then we started watching an HL and then you're like okay well this is it, it was it, there are some different possibilities. From that upbringing to then having the life you have now, what's 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 that like? Completely different. Even like it was a huge a huge change for me. Like when I got here, I was 22, but got here and then coming from that time, uh, I was already Czech Republic. Coming over here, it was just a totally totally different lifestyle. I, I didn't speak any English, so it was uh, the start was really rough for me. But then I kind of pushed through it, and then kind of I think helped me in the long run, just you know, be a little mentally stronger. You were drafted by Quebec, and then before you came, the franchise moves to Colorado. What did you know about Colorado? Not much, really. Not much. Uh, like you mentioned, like I was drafted uh, by Nordiques '94, and uh, no, I didn't. I didn't know much. Well. Uh, uh, when the team moved from uh, from Quebec to, to Denver to Colorado, they won the cup right away. So I knew this, this is really a special team. When you think back to that era, and I mean, there was just a couple of those super teams that were just stacked with talent. What was that like? It was an awesome feeling because, like before every season, you, you knew you're going to make the playoffs. It's, it, it depends. It was just a matter of how far you're going to go in the playoffs. And uh, you know, it was, it was just such a treat that the confidence in the in the locker room. What you had, even. You know, sometimes down uh, after the first, second period, no panic whatsoever. Uh, you knew that that team was strong, and and and, and you know, we, we came up with a lot of wins, including the team's second Stanley Cup championship in 2001. What do you remember uh, when that game seven ended, and you knew that you were the champion? I remember like last minute, you were just pushing the clock, and you just tried to be the game over because we were up a couple of goals, and so, uh, it was just. You know, just you like, this is really happening, and then everybody jumps on the ice, and then just hugging Patrick and in the net, and uh, uh, it was just an awesome feeling. Completing one of the greatest lines in hockey history. And now Hey Duke joins five other members of that team to have his number retired. Someone mentioned to it, to me that uh, once my jersey is going to be up, it's going to be whole line. It's three forwards, two Ds, and one goalie. All, all like one line and one goalie, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. It's, it's, it's definitely a special moment. And, and if you look at the names, they're already there. It's, it's, uh, you know, Hall of Famers. So it, it, it's, it's really never ever thought it's my, my jersey's gonna be up there. Milan still lives in Parker with his wife and twin boys, and he coaches his son's Colorado Thunderbirds youth hockey team. Hey Duke said that last night's ceremony was quote awesome.